How are you feeling? Good. Good? All right. Let's remember what happened on Sunday. Let's remember what happened on Sunday. Okay, that doesn't happen again. We're really excited going into that game four. And that's something that it's the first time we get to play in front of our fans for the regular season and it counts. And showcasing to them the team that was there last Friday and Saturday night in NOCO and how powerful that we can be. And, you know, showing them that we have the response that we do after a, a negative outcome like last Sunday in NOCO. This week of preparation, you know, going into that was, again, really important to showcase a response in front of our fans in our own building and, and show that we're the team that we really think we are. And for the first time announced, Daniel Falzer, Jack Jones announced as captains. In 60 minutes this weekend, you don't have 120, you don't have 180. It's all you have this weekend to perform. If you don't win this one, you're giving up first place on the weekend. They got more games. You're giving up first place if you don't win this one. New face entering the lineup here tonight for Ogden, Devin Boldway. Noko, centering feed broken up, Boldway making an impact right away. I would say I'm an offensive defenseman that does a good job moving pucks and kind of moving the play up the ice. Now sent out again, rebound goes in, scores! Balzer! My favorite NHL player was um, Jerome McGinley growing up and I like to model my game style after him. Just an aggressive forward, always trying to put the puck on that. Going into the second period, what can we expect from the Mustangs? Um, come out guns blazing, you know, get pucks in deep, get them on that, and keep it out of our zone. Goes the shot, lost it for a second, and the goal! Thorstad. It was our first regular season home game in front of our fans, so we wanted to make sure that we were you know, dialed in and put a good show on for them. Uh, but it was also a four point game in our division. You know, it was a chance for us to go up on them or it was a chance for them to climb even with us in the standings. And I believe we were the only teams in the division that had played the previous weekend. So our goal is to win every season series against every team we play. So that was a really good opportunity. Um, having taken two out of three games from their building to come to our building and establish the dominance there. What'd you hit, kid? Shoulder. Shoulder? Did he hit you or did you fall? Way to follow him up, right? If you don't skate to the net, you don't score. Indeed they will. That'll do it. Ogden takes their home opener here in the regular season. 5-2 to two is the score. Everyone that was there supporting us for our first game of the season at home, that's definitely a huge confidence builder for us to get that first victory there and you know bouncing back from last Sunday in Northern Colorado. It's rivalry weekend in Ogden as the Utah Outliers come to town. I think it's a good rival, you know, it's obviously been going on for many years and, you know, just to keep that going and that kind of hatred between the two teams going is, you know, an awesome feeling and, you know, those games are way fun for sure. Rare, oh, opportunistic side right along the side of the net, waiting for that shot to come off the screen. For all these people here, who, all the fans that come to our games, I mean, we're their team. Like, we're Ogden, like, we're their hometown team, so we just got to represent ourselves as uh, hockey players and, and just normal people. Like, uh, making sure that we uh, represent the Mustangs well and we also do not let any distractions like hit our way and just uh, just playing like simple clean hockey. Great rivalry, great setting. I think we got a good matchup because you got two teams that feel pretty good about how their seasons have started. Utah Outliers, they've got a lot of defensemen returning and with the Mustangs they've got a lot of offensive firepower. Count it off with me folks, that's a shutout. Sava, with the shutout. Ogden Mustangs is a great team because we're a family. Welcome to the Weber County Ice Sheet, where tonight we have the Ogden Mustangs against the Provo Riverblades. I don't know how many more opportunities you guys need. They're begging for you guys to kick their ass. They're begging for it. Someone needs to wake up on this power play and put one in the back of the cage. Let's go. Rock off. You guys are going. 26 to go in the first period. Oh, snipe. 
by Smokov. I'm playing left wing for the Ogden Mustangs. I really like this position because I'm getting the most of the chance on the ice to score. I like to take every opportunity to make the play or score a goal. Yeah, of course, I'm not forgetting about the defense, but I really like this position. You close out this game, what do you guys need to do? Just keep playing our game, keep up the physicality, not let them get in our heads and just play our game. Good job! Yeah! Nobody better in this league than the Ogden Mustangs right now. It's a good win. We knew it was going to be a tough battle, but you know we really believe in our group and we really believe in our guys. So the struggle with us as a coaching staff is always, you know, how do we get them to replicate those efforts night in and night out, practice in and practice out. So, you know, we really try to push the guys to be consistent every single day, regardless of if it's a practice where we're just working on skill stuff individually, or if we're, you know, Thursday getting prepared for a game on Friday night. That's tough to do. Um, when you see so much success last Friday and Saturday, and then you, you get beat up like you did on Sunday, coming back and being able to showcase that, you know, you have the ability to face that adversity and respond to it and learn from it. That's what shows me that there's a good group of guys in that locker room. And we can take this very far. The friendship is a very important part of hockey because you're seeing all of these guys from day to day and you're practicing with them every day. And it's good to have somebody like to do these things and grind every day with your friends. It's a great example with St. Louis Blues in 2018. They were lost in Stanix in the middle of the season, but they become the real team, the real brotherhood, and they made it and they won the Stanley Cup. And I think it was a very important aspect that they had the real friendship in their team.